Aloha, Rich Halverson. This is ICS 211. And today I'm going to uh, do uh, lab 5.13, outputting values below an amount. So let me share my screen. And this is the uh, this is the assignment. And what, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to uh, read in an array, uh, read in a list of integers, and you're also going to read in a threshold, and uh, it's going to output all of the um, all of the uh, integers in the list that are less than or equal to the threshold. Less than or equal to the threshold. So, um, uh, so the way they'd like you to do this is they'd like you to read read the integers into an array called the user values. And then uh, and then after you read them into an array and you read in the threshold, then loop again and write, write the output values that are less than or equal to the threshold. And uh, so so uh, let's let's just start. Um, I'm gonna just first let me get rid of that. Okay, let, I'm gonna start with um now I um you should um declare all your variables at the top, uh, but sometimes you don't know what your variables are gonna be until you write the code. So I'm just gonna declare declare the variables as I go along. Okay, so Okay, the first thing I have to do is I have to read the size of the array, read the size of the list that's coming in. So I'm going to say um, list size, that's a good name for it, equals, uh, and I'm going to use the scanner thing, um, uh, scanner. That's declared right here. Okay, got it. It's declared. SCNR dot um, next integer. And E X T I N T. So that's going to read the first integer that comes in. It's going to read the integer and put it into list size. And I should declare list size now. Int list size. And then I'm going to read in um, all of the integers of the list. So that's going to be four I equals zero. Like this zero i while i is less than or equal to the list size um each each time you go through the loop increment i by just by one uh and um i'm just going to read read in the integers right directly into this user values array so i don't need to put a curly brace i'm just going to put one statement here and that's going to be um, user values of i equals scanner next int. Okay, that should read all the um, that should read all of the integers up to, but not including the threshold. So the last thing we should do is read the threshold. And that's going to be the last integer that's read in. Okay, now now that we've got everything, uh, we've got the list in the array, and the, the integers filled into the array, and we've got the threshold. Now we can just loop through it again, and if the uh, user value is less than or equal to the threshold, then print it out. Otherwise, skip it. So I'm going to do um, four. We can use the same variable i equals zero to i while i is less than not less than or equal to list size. It's less than list size. That would have been an error. I should uh, I should leave an error in here now and then just so we can see what it looks like. But I won't do that today. Plus plus i. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my loopy loop things this time. Inside here, I'm gonna print out. I'm gonna print out. Oh, if 
if the um, if um, user values is less than or equal to the threshold, then I'll do this again. If that's true, then we want to print out. That's true. We want to print out um, system dot out dot print user value. Okay, so so it's going to go through this array i going from zero up to list size minus one. And each time it's going to check to see if the if that value that's stored there is less than or equal to the threshold that we read in. And if it is, it's going to print it out. Otherwise, it's going to skip it. Now I'm going to see what this what this looks like. So I think we're pretty close. Oh, I pasted it down here already. I was testing it earlier. And and when I run it, and I, it's like I ran it already. Um, I get. I, I spelled something wrong. User values. User value. User value. <laughs> it's not going to let me change this, is it? Oh, it is. Didn't declare I. See, I'm getting a lot of good errors here. Int I. Forgot to declare I. Did I forget to declare anything? Oh, I forgot to declare threshold also. Mm. Int threshold. Is there anything else? Okay, we see here that it, what should have printed out is the 50, the 60, and the 75. And what printed out was the 50 and the 60 and the 75, but it doesn't look like this. Okay, so I think you can fix that, all right? That's pretty darn close to uh, finishing the whole thing. So I um, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.